what is up ladies and gentlemen we're out on the lake just got the boat launched it is a uh, 6 25 in the morning water temp 66 degrees uh when i got here i seen bait fish busting in the water still a little bit here and there um yeah we're gonna head out to a spot and go from there might be a lot of people here today not gonna lie we had a, a ton of rain the last two two three days two days yeah all right but uh yeah we're gonna head out and get to our spot i don't know if these fish are still bedding or what Oh, something's biting the crap out of it. Bluegill. What? Oh my gosh! We're gonna need the net. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Right off of my favorite house. Look at this beast. Holy crap. That, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow, I'm so excited. Sorry, I'm like freaking out over here. Look at this beast. That's gotta be my PB. You go ahead and put him in the live well here. Just for a minute. All right, we got the scale out. Go ahead and organize this up here a little bit. Uh. All right, let's go ahead and get a weight on this fella. This, let's call it a her. We're always calling them dudes. All right. So, let's go ahead and grab them. Okay, so I'm not sure what we just got on film because the GoPro messed up again. But this fish measured 17 inches, which, I don't know. This fish looks a lot bigger than that. Don't you think? 17 inches, 2.80. Let's see, yeah, 17, all right. Let's get this fish back, play them for enough time there. There she goes, nice and slow. All right, so that was my first fish catch on the uh, Guggen Squad 
gold series finesse spinning rod i've got a shimano nasi 2500 series using a 5 16th cylinder weight drop shot uh with a z-man oh i forget what this is called but we're gonna head back over to them docks maybe maybe i've been wrong this whole time and this is what i needed to be doing i felt like a tick 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 right and um i was like all right it's gotta be bluegill and then you know, I, I lifted up on it a little bit after a few seconds, and it was a lot, like, it, it felt like it was stuck. So I think what might have happened is the bluegill might have had it, and that bass was like, uh-uh, no way. This is, uh, this is mine. My line held up using the Guggen Squad Catch Co. 15-pound braid to 12-pound Guggen fluorocarbon. Oh, that was uh that was my largest fish of the year so far. That counts for something at least. Oh, hopefully that was on camera. Just caught this little. I think it's a red ear. fish is nine inches uh i don't know if they consider it a sunfish but if it's if if uh ohio considers sunfish bluegill ready or whatever then that's a fish ohio let this fella go Uh, this just screams chatterbait. The wind kicked up. Got a little bit of waves coming in. We're at the switch. I do like this little swim bait. It's like seven bucks for a pack, and then you just throw on a barrel swivel and a blade. Be better if I had like a little willow leaf. But I actually just took that blade off of a spinner bait that I found on shore one day. That worked out perfect. Okay, so now that I've been up in this grass before, I kind of know a little bit more of what's where. Except for I haven't been this far to the right. All right, y'all, we're gonna end it there. Um, got that two eight. Almost three pound, largey. And then we got that, I think it's a Fish Ohio uh, Red Ear Sunfish. So we're gonna look that up and go from there. Um, didn't catch anything else. As you can see, there are storms moving in and it's one o'clock. So I was like, eh, I'm just gonna head home early. Not really feeling it the rest of the day. And, um, oh, by the way, the, the last, the last video that wasn't a rock bass well actually sorry might not be the last video but one of the last videos i said that uh i didn't know what the fish was i thought it was a rock bass <clears throat> and uh completely slipped my mind that we have warmouth here and that was actually a warmouth so that's pretty cool um yeah so i'm gonna get everything loaded up we got a little mess going on here Actually, it's not that bad, but gonna get everything loaded up, head back home, and uh, if you guys liked the video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends, get somebody new into fishing, and I will see you later.